Boom. Here we go. Gain some good experience. Then we'll see. Um, you guys aren't gonna move in. Your sword, your sword. Your lance. You suck. That's all I can say about you two. Is you both suck. Um, don't want to push it for him in. Lance. I think I have to, regardless. I have no other choice. You can move Ephraim here. Have him ready with yeah, the Steel Lance. I'll just wait it out. I'll just wait. You're gonna move in, you're gonna attack Ephraim. Yep, as expected. Good, thank you for missing. Thank you for KOing. Gosh. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna slowly just chip him down, because that's really all that we can do. Iron Lance. Kyle has Lance as well, so. I actually have Kyle kind of go in against these few. Yeah, put him just like right in attack range. Right there with the Lance. Wait it out. Bring Ford up just slightly. Wait it out. There we go. Yep, as expected, you're gonna attack Kyle. Fade it, do some good damage. KO? KO! Thank you. <sighs> Boom, Kyle gets a level up. Very much needed. Boost in HP and strength, skill, luck, and resistance. Not bad. And that one's gonna rush in, yep, try to tackle Kyle, but it's not gonna do anything. And we're gonna miss. The one thing that should not happen. Whatever. Fine. Uh we'll have Kyle handled. No, he won't even be able to handle it. Not unless I move you. Uh is there any way to do this? No, I can't do this. I have to go right here, trade, give you the killer lance, have you take the sword temporarily, and then wait. Oh god. Oh, you're fine. No one's gonna attack you. Your range is just right next to it. And your range is just right below it. So, what I can do is I can move you here, have you attack with this. With the, god, my brain. The killer lance. There we go. Get off some good damage. No damage, of course. We're good. Have Kyle take any experience? He can. You have a lance, right? Yeah. Bring you down. Have you attack with the steel lance? KO this one. There we go. Weapon level increased, which is pretty good. And we'll wait it out. Yep, you're gonna move in and attack as I hope for. Boom. Boom. There we go. There we go. Close to the level up. It's fine. You come running in. You're gonna attack Kyle. I'm just gonna only do one. A crit would have been nice right there, but that's fine. Go. Okay. Kyle. Look to the side. Attack with the iron sword, yeah, why not? Just to make sure we get the KO in that part. There we go. Right. Next is gonna be you with an iron lance. God. See, you're gonna be the biggest pain because you don't travel very far. You can't hit me though. You have the javelin. You have more HP. You have an elixir. Okay, well, push you. How close? At least to there. Can I get you? Yeah, just barely in that range. Javelin equipped, wait it out, and then I'll have that frame go to the right as well. Ready with the steel lance, we'll just wait it out. Ugh, so much strategizing and planning. Okay, yeah, you're gonna do a lot of damage, unfortunately. Ugh. You missed one. Did not need that, but that's fine. 
you guys are gonna move in against us. Have a frame weight here, or no. Forward weight here using elixir just so he's at full health. Go. No point in moving. Uh, you have iron lance. Farther the surface right there, so. I can bring you like right across and wait right there with the steel. I can bring you right across. No. You have. I forgot what you had. You had a lance, right? Yeah. Okay. So, make sure I have a lance equipped. Kill a lance. We'll wait it out. There we go. Yep. That's fine. Go. Get off some good damage at least. Crit. It's not bad. There we go. And I'll also level up for Kyle. <sighs> That works. You're gonna attack me head on. All right. Was that a crit? Oh, okay, good. I missed. Cool. Whew. I'm gonna worry for a sec. Almost a level up for Ford as well. Jeez. Okay. Player phase. Your range is just right there. Your range is just right there. Ugh. Okay. I'm like trying to plan this out wisely. I don't want to go rushing in, go wild. You can go as far as there. You are an axeman. You have a sword. I don't think Ford has a sword. He does have a sword. Alright. Uh, have you... I think that's just out of the range. Put the steel sword. Wait it out since you're at full health. Uh, you have a lance. Your range is there. Well, your range is there. But then you have a... You're a javelin. Ugh. I don't have a javelin on this side. That was my mistake. Alright, we'll just wait it out. This, yep, as expected, you're gonna move in. My main goal is to try and just bait them out all slowly, and then just KO them one on one, one by one. It's gonna take me a while, and like I said, this video is gonna be quite long, but I'm gonna cut it up. But still, it's gonna be quite long. Forward hit level 8, boosting HP, skill, speed, and defense. Very much needed. Oh boy. Yep, as expected, you're gonna run in. Miss, thank you. Okay, um, now what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm actually going to have you track back quickly. I have the javelin equipped in case you decide to make chase. Have Kyle run over here. Actually have him vulnerary up, might as well, just so that way he's fully healed. And if frame is fine right there. Yeah, you guys aren't going to move, which is expected. Let's trade. Give him the javelin. Wait it out. Let's bring Kyle back here. I'll wait it out. If frame can wait, really? I don't really have to push him. You can't hit very far, you can't hit very far. You can't hit either. Um, okay, so I can move F frame like right there. There we go. Okay. Here's where the real test. Okay. This is basically one of his dreams. He's going fast, he's going fast. Oh! <laughs> sad cat, this sad cat. Uh, Kyle's fully healed. Ephraim could use some health, but I don't want to use his health yet. I don't want to use his uh, item yet. Okay, so. Move right here. Trade with Ephraim. Give him the elixir, or give him the javelin, and make sure that the javelin is at his very top slot. Then we'll wait it out. And what I could do is I could have Ephraim already go on the offensive, but I'm gonna wait a bit longer just for the sake of waiting. Cause, oh boy, okay. you can go as far as there, but I think I'll just barely be out of your range. No, I'll just barely be in it. Whack. Okay, if I move Ephraim in and have him attack, two hits, they're not guaranteed, but they might. Yeah, screw it. We have to. Boom. Boom. Go. Thank you, Ephraim. We needed those two hits to come in. Good level up. Boost level 7. Boost in HP, strengths, and speed, and luck. Awesome. 
got an elixir. That is very, very much needed. Very much needed. Okay. You're gonna attack with a lance, and you're gonna attack with an axe. Whoever, who has more range. You attack right there, you'll attack right there. I'm more likely to get hit by you. Stick with the killer lance up front. I might take some damage here because of the, the friggin' um, shaman. But we'll see what happens. For Ford, how far can you go? I don't want to be just outside of your range before I rush in. Heavy weight right here with the steel lance. There we go. Orson's just chilling back at the entrance. Alright, yep, as expected. Kyle holding out pretty good. Down goes that one. That's what I honestly hoped for. Kyle gains a level up. No damage too, which is perfect. Boost to level 8. Boost in HP and skill. Not bad. Shaman's gonna attack Ephraim, okay. Or Ephraim. I ever pronounce it, whatever. Just gonna do some damage, but we're gonna retaliate. Take him down. Huh. <sighs> we're good. Alright. Now with Kyle, I can move you in and have you attack with your sword. Or actually, how far can you guys go? You'll go just outside. You'll just barely cover. So, actually, you're pretty free to hit. Ooh, but I do remember you, and how far do you go? Just outside. Damn, man, I'm getting very fortunate with that. Okay, Iron Sword. Yeah. It's almost KO. Uh, back you up a bit. I'll have you wait right there. I shall have A-Frame start trekking back and heal, because he needs it. But I'll have A-Frame trek back, because I need to return this... Uh, javelin in order to continue and we might as well clear more of these guides I guess rescues of course we know how it works drops you can drop them off wherever we'd like acquiring items using items trading items weapon durability supply convoy army armory shop supply convoy supply convoy travels the main characters boost face adjacent your supply convoy you can trade items with it for each and screen convoy share up to 100 damn that's a lot we get ourselves the terrain info, of course. Each terrain does something different, so keep an eye out for that. Allies, geez, there's still a lot more to go over, but we'll look over that later. Yep, as expected, you're gonna attack us. <sighs> really, you couldn't avoid it. Whatever, it's fine. Okay. F frame rush, trade. Give him the javelin. We'll have him take the silver sword just temporarily. Then have... Is that just in or out of the range? I think it's just out of the range. Yep, just out of the range. Nice. Have you equipped the javelin? Ford equip the javelin. Keep Kyle here. Have him attack with the sword. KO this one. Oh, there we go. Alright, things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good. Kyle is level 8, the frame is level 7, and Ford is level 8. Yeah, things are looking pretty good, actually. Way better than I thought they would. Go. Put Ford, move him in, and have him... Oof, attack with a javelin, I need to. Boom. And take some damage here. Or not. Perfect, that's even better. Minimize damage as much as possible. Uh, now you are going to be a bit of a headache, but I don't have to worry about you too much. You're going to move in, you're going to attack uh, Ford. F frame, I can have you move it back in on the right. And we'll just wait it out. Yep, you're going to attack Ford as expected. It's not going to do much though, so Ford should be okay. Two good clean hits. There we go. We're just whittling the hell, whittling them down slowly. Bring Ephraim down. Your range is just right there. So I can put Kyle right here. Have him wait it out. I can drag Ford in as well. Have him wait it out. Okay. We're just out of basically everyone else's range, so we're okay. Lance, 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 so no swords. Alright, let's drag Ephraim down again. Wait it out. 
options. Your range, your fire, I'm gonna have forward. Just move in slightly, just to get your aggro. That's just out of your range. It's fine by me. Yep, as expected, you're gonna attack forward. Should be okay though. Yep. Boom. It's fine, one good hit is good enough. The javelin finally broke. No wonder. That's alright though. Your, uh, no, your range is just right there. Are any of your guys is overlapping with that? Yours is. Yours is not. What I can do is I can move you in. Should wait. All along the middle. Aha! Uh -huh. Blind spot. Well, not really a blind spot, but you know what I mean. Steel Lance, take care of you. Boom. Go. Forty gains a level up. Perfect. Boost to level 9. Boost in HP, strength, speed, luck, defense, and resistance. Damn. Boost in everything, huh? Move, uh... Okay, move... F-frame here. Have him with the Reagan Leaf. And we'll move Kyle over here. Have him equipped with the Killer Lance. And have him use an Elixir just to make sure he's at full health. Wait, and I guess we can drag Orson finally along. We're just having him wait all the way back there. You're gonna attack uh, forward as expected. Takes some damage, but he should be okay for the most part. Two good hits, won't do too much. It's fine. Then we're gonna have these two focus on Yep Kyle and Ephraim. Do some damage, but not a whole lot. Kyle will KO his. Question is, will Ephraim KO his? It's fine. You don't get a level up, don't really expect you to. Go. Oh, crit, yeah, you're definitely gone. <laughs> you are done, good sir. Go, get experience. And we're basically good to wrap this up. Kyle, step here. Have him attack with the steel killer lance. The Iron Sword is weaker, but of course it'll have higher accuracy, so we're just gonna go with that. We're playing it safe. Here we go, Kyle hit level 9. It's pretty great. Perfect. Boost in HP, skill, and luck. Not bad. Let's, let's drag Orson along. This is so cool. Go. All that's left is Zonsa. It's a mercenary with a steel blade, which is gonna be obliterated by our main weapon. Well, let's move you here. Let's have you heal up. And let's bring Ford in. Have you wait. You're not going to attack much. You can't really. Let's bring Orson along. And yeah, we'll just leave this to A for him. Yeah, he should be fine. Do you truly think you can take us with those numbers? Imbes imbecile. To learn the error of your ways. Oh, I ain't so sure about that, bud. If you just have a little look around, you'll see there aren't very many of you left. Go so step in with Ford, Kyle, and let's wrap this up. Sansa can heal up as much as he'd like. He's done either way. Boom. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Boom. Lord Torado, it can't be. Were we merely pawns? Oh, it would seem. Can ourselves a good level up? Boom. If frame hits level 8, boost in HP, skill, speed, and luck. That was quite the episode. Quite the damn expedition. I guess we could bring Orson along. Let's bring him in. Come on, you slow ass. There you go. Ephraim sees the throne, and there we go. We've secured the entire castle. You are brilliant, Prince Ephraim. What a plan, what a battle. I estimate at least half of the enemy troops are in the field. We took the castle, but we don't have the manpower to hold it in the siege. There's no point in lingering here. Let's continue on to Grado Keep. Prince Ephraim, things have taken a turn for the worse. I took a look around the castle perimeter. We're surrounded. What? Grado send reinforcements? So quickly? What should we do? We must escape. 
Here's our attempt to flee. So, you've captured Renvel, have you? And with, a small, with such a small force. Impressive. You've earned your reputation, I must say. I quite admire your work. I take it you're the leader of this pack, the misguided Prince Ifrae. I am. I'm General Valtor, the Moonstone of Grado's Imperial Army. Catching up to you has caused me no small amount of trouble. We've reduced your wretched home of Renee's to ruin, and yet, you and your little band of bravos continue to be a thorn in our side. But that all ends here. We'll see. You claim you've taken the capital of Renee's. Tell me, how did you know I would attack Renba? Ha <laughs> ha. Patience. You'll have your answer soon enough. Now be good lads, and drop your weapons, will you? Prince Ephraim, let us attack! Listen to me, Ephraim. You're a smart man. You know it's futile to fight me. You cannot win. You cannot escape. Accept the reality of your situation and surrender to me. Surrender. <laughs> That's right. If you do, I'll let you live. I hold your life in the palm of my hand. Do not test my good humor. Now come over here. Bend your knee and beg for your life. Show me how Renee's dogs grovel. I think not. What? You said your name was Valtor, didn't you? Well, I'm sorry, Valtor, but I don't have time to waste playing games with you. So we're going to knock you louts about a bit, then make our way out of here. Fool. Have you gone mad? Do you truly believe you can fight your way past my Wyvern Knights? Watch and see. I don't pick fights I can't win. Kyle? Ford? Are you ready? My life has been yours since the moment I took my chivalric vows. It's moments like these that keep me by your side, my prince. What idiotic wretches you are. Prepare yourselves to be destroyed utterly. We break to the east. Go! Just like that. That wraps up Chapter 5X. Join me here next time where, where we figure out what our prince has in store. Peace out, everybody.